What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dash, coming back to you for all takes. Well, it looks like we have an official trailer for a movie titled Daniel Isn't Real. Now, the title does have me a little intrigued. I've never seen a title like that, so I'm like, okay, definitely don't know anything about this, so I'm going in blind. So, you know what? With that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll say the rest of my thoughts at the end, you guys. It's common for people to see things that aren't real. Ooh. Shudder. That's all I need to see. Ever seen things like this before? I had an imaginary friend when I was a kid. His name was Daniel. He was my best friend. He was my only friend. It's kind of a strange notion, but maybe you should try to connect with that part of yourself again. You need my help. Oh my goodness. Patrick's... Is that Patrick Schwarzenegger? Mandy. You need to break out and live. I bet you can get a phone number from any girl at this party. Oh, Sasha Lane, nice. I do photography sometimes. I'm here because you're here. I'm part of you. What's that thing? Mm. Uh, behind me. Your shadow. you guys this trailer I actually pretty enjoyed it this was um pretty decent um i'm curious how they're doing the imaginary friend aspect of course he was you know a little young boy he remembers playing with him you know swords things of that nature and of course he must be seeing someone i don't know if it's a therapist or not he's like you know maybe you need to um lock back into that whatever and of course clearly i'm assuming from whatever he you know unlocked whatever from this whatever it brought back his imaginary friend of course he's much older now you know, I will say this, most of the cliche movies I've seen it, you know, involving an imaginary friend, whatever, who might end up doing things, whatever, cause harm, and horrors I've seen in the past, never where they always, you know, take on, you know, a form where they grow and they're older, just like says Circa, the, you know, individual kid, maybe it's a girl or it's a boy, whatever. It's always still considered, the imaginary friend is still considered young. So in this instance, Patrick Schwarzenegger plays the more older one. And it just looks like at first he is, you know, sweet as can be, hanging out, the life of the party with him, kind of getting him, you know, to kind of do things, whichever. And then he kind of starts to want to integrate himself a little bit more in the boy's life, whatever, and all doing certain things, things that he's probably not aware he's doing, or making him do things as you clearly heard him say. So that part I thought was rather intriguing. I actually like that. Um, of course, we get introduced to uh, Sasha Lane's character. I remember if you all recall, she was in the Hellboy movie, recent one with David Arbor. I like her. So she looks like he starts to, you know, find someone he's interested in. They start hanging out. Um, I'm curious in the part where she was, you know, did the painting of him. She says, you know, saw some sort of shadow. So I'm wondering, is she able to see him as well? You know, so I want to see how that plays out. But clearly, he starts to realize that she's getting too close to the girl and starts doing certain things to kind of make what she's brushed off. And he's always, you know, feeling like if he's threatened, I'm assuming, because then he won't feel like he needs him anymore. And that's what it is. He seems like he's just keeps to himself. He's kind of a little sheltered and all that. And he wanted him to kind of break out of this little, you know, way of, you know, his everyday life, whatever. And he kind of keeps to himself, whatever, and live a little bit more. And now that he's living, it looks like his imaginary friend doesn't take too kind to that, so he's making him do things, you know, and clearly some things that he should not be doing, you know, he's, you know, getting in fights, you know, causing certain things. I don't know if he, you know, does something to his neck, whatever you saw, the little, you know, kind of like a little razor clip or something. Um, then also a part that looked really creepy where I don't know if he was trying to, you know, morph into him or go into him. Yeah, it looks like it really goes there a little bit, and I don't know if you want to think it's all in his head, his mind, but... 
enough that I am a little intrigued. Um, I see this is through Shutter, so I'm gonna check to see. Um, I don't know if I will see this at a theater. I'll just be honest about that. If I can find it on demand, I'll watch it online. If it's pretty good, I might most likely do a reaction to this. You know, it looks like a, a decent um, horror. I wouldn't mind actually checking out. So with that said, comment below. Let me know what you all think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. You guys take care.